All right, lads, welcome back to the Black Clover mobile video. It's been a minute since we've actually uploaded on the channel. I've just been ill for the last week. But what made me better was seeing these new leagues because we have now gotten the hints and teasers that Valkyrie Armor Noel is, in fact, going to be the first anniversary character, which uh, I'm very much happy with. But it does take a little bit away from this new Noel that we just came out on JP. I'm sure they're going to have their uses and they're going to be using different teams. But, but after knowing that Valkyrie Armor Noel is coming... I'm not really going to be chasing this other Noel. I'll rather save and wait for the actual new one. So let's go over the leaks. All right. So we don't have the hour got anything of the character. Probably because it's coming out in a, a little over two months now, basically. So we still have some time. But we do get to see the actual skills here. It looks like she's going to be a bit of a buffer character, actually. You can see her first skill is what you imagine is going to be like a single target skill, right? Or maybe even AoE, who knows. But in the second skill, she raises it in the sky and like... There's like a, a bubble around everyone. So, yes, you might actually be a buffer rather than all our DPS. Now, bear in mind, this character should be blue, which means uh, I like to think she might be a bit of a mono red killer. Because as it is right now, we have Black Aster on the mono red team. Now, green, you know, Spirit Dive, you know, just dropped in JP, who is buffing up or being used on the mono green team. Even though he can be used elsewhere, but he's kind of been made to use in the mono green team. So, I'm assuming Noel, since she's blue. It's also going to be a blue character and uh, buff up and make one of blue team uh, a lot better as well. But yeah, the ultimate is going to be Sea Dragon's Raw Noel. I don't think it's point blank Sea Dragon's Raw. So it, it, it is like the original one, basically, which was... Um I mean, fair enough, right? It's just, uh, I would have thought we would have got the Sea Dragons for the world as a standalone character first, just so we can kind of separate Sea Dragons from the world to obviously Valkyrie Armor in the world, which would have been a lot better. And it's kind of a little bit of a shame that they're not doing this because, well, they, you know, they've already released three new worlds this year. One of them could have had the Sea Dragons Raw Ultimate, even some in the world, for example, all right? Just, just give it to wherever you want, plan to do it. But yeah, that is unfortunately all we have for the character. I'm sure her artwork's gonna look insane. And once we get more details on her, then we obviously will cover it on the channel. But surprisingly, a character I've been waiting for since the start of the game, considering that she should have came out on the start of the game, and uh, that is SSR Dorothy. Dorothy's finally coming to the game. We don't know when, but I imagine she might come out next season, because the way they like to do characters now is to drop, like, two canon characters along with like the new seasonal one so i imagine since she's the only one leaked now uh she is gonna be dropping in season 11 which is um yeah this is cool man once again dorothy she'll be a filler character you can see her artwork which once again we've already seen in the game because they're using a bunch of promotional artwork for both global and jp launch for her not to come out like she was kind of even teased off with um Gory at the time, and I believe at the time she was leaked to be like a red attacker, so she might be a bit of a deep best character. Obviously, that was a very long time ago now. So the likelihood things have changed here, but we do get to see some of the outfits, which actually look pretty good. You have the rapper one that all like the captains have basically, but yeah, the rapper one, right? Which I mean, you can kind of see she's showing her her, her waist, so it, it's probably gonna be a banging skin. Oh, it's weird to see of no hat. Which are uh, just just kind of my point of view a little bit. And we also have that outfit as well, which you can see on screen too, which like. All the girls have, I think. Yeah, the gothic one. Ah, I mean, it looks alright in her a little bit, but I don't like the fact that everyone has the same outfits. At least the rapper one looks a bit unique. And of course, the skill page, which looks pretty cool too. Once again, nothing to go off how the characters are going to play in game. Just some artwork to show that she's actually been updated and probably coming to the game now, which is obviously very exciting. Like I said, she was leaked a while ago to be a DPS character, so I'm hoping she is one. And if she is a red character, it's going to be kind of hard to use on the mono red team because uh, the mono red teams cannot really fold up and uh, get more. She's kind of got to be unique. Unless she. I mean, I would have thought it would have been like a support, right? Like a debuffer, because. Her, like, sleeping people, if they attack her, or, like, she can, like, have a stun. That makes sense for the character. But, hey, DPS Dorothy, I'm all for it. Now, we did get leaks a while ago, going over Season 11, which is going to be Kohono and also uh, Nozel in a party outfit. But now we have a Fisher artwork of how they look in-game. And, uh, yeah, they look okay. I mean, it's kind of what you expect, right? Just, like, a ceremony outfit, nothing too crazy. Like, Kohono looks good. I think we have leaks going over the character's kit, so we'll go through that second. I'm not entirely too sure. And then we have, obviously... And we have Nozel, which, I mean, he looks all right. He, he's fitting right. Blue, you know, he just fits the character. So, uh, let's go through his actual skills and stuff that we kind of spoke about, I think, a few weeks ago now, actually. Okay, so Kohono, she has a single target skill that is going to increase the attack of the highest attack ally on your team. Standard stuff, pretty good, guaranteed, too. But yeah, this character is kind of broken. So, you can see what she does for her skill, too. She is going to extend buff durations and also increase all attack or get attack as well, which is obviously, you know, it's nice, right? But the biggest thing is granting an ally the open Ari, area. I don't even pronounce it. Uh, and then what this does is going to increase your penetration. And we saw with Judas in the meta right now, 
getting penetration or defensive penetration is obviously very, very good. Uh, you're also going to be getting a uh, critical damage as well. But when you gain a certain stack of these actual buffs, you're going to remove it and also get the festival area, which is going to increase penetration and crit damage and also damage dealt, which is, um, yeah, going to be very, very good, right? It's going to be a big damage dealer. Uh, probably one of the best ones, I would say, because it's like you're working towards it. It's not just a one big buff, go crazy. This would have to be a lot better than what we've seen in games so far. You'd like to think the effort put into it is going to make the character a lot better. And in the ultimate, it's going to actually increase mobility, which is always good. Crit rate as well, which is going to go nice with a crit damage. And it give all allies the open area, which will be, uh, once again, add up towards getting that festival one. Definitely going to be a bit of a well-heavy character because as you can see, when you do duper out right here, when you do get attacked, you're going to grant the open area towards the high attack ally on your team, which means obviously they're going to get the festival one a lot easier and do all the big damage which is um yeah kind of scary but also when you do get towards five star i believe when you do your special skills to your ultimate you're gonna grant one extra stack of it so it's um yeah it, it just, it's gonna be really good uh i'm looking forward to it a little bit depending on what color she's gonna be hopefully not red i doubt she'll be red because she is buffed of attack right so it's um it, it, it's not magic attack unless you change it so it, it's got to be base attack so it's got to go towards like even like yami or astar uh so i'm assuming maybe yeah it might be like a mono red buffer okay so no zero seems kind of bad unless you dupe them out here because if, if it, i'm reading it properly here so what it does say is is if you take okay so no zero seems actually kind of bad unless you do them out here which at five star dupes by the way not even two star but you can see his first skill is he is going to have a chance to apply poison chance but if you have a lot of mercury buffs on yourself or debuffs as you should call it because you'll see in a second uh then you are guaranteed a poison effect which is um yeah you want to get his poison not crazy you rather just have that guaranteed which to be fair you can do if you have the buffs on uh so the mercury buff which is what it's going to do right is at the start of the turn, you are going to take current HP as damage. And now bear in mind, this is on himself. He's applying Mercury to himself. So every single turn, he is going to take damage based off his current HP. Not max HP. So it's not going to like insta-kill you when you're low, super low. It's going to be current HP. But it does stack up, right? Because once again, you want to have, let's say, three or four on yourself to get that guaranteed poison. His skill 2 is going to inflict this arm. Once again, probably have a... Um, higher level if he has more mercury on because obviously this is exact same text here i uh, remove buffs and also as well i uh, reduce buff duration on all enemies so that's actually kind of good actually not too bad ultimate seems pretty cool as well might be a big new depending on how they go with it here but he is going to inflict immortality immunity so if asta if Ramona red has it so it should be good, good on like the mono blue team a little bit might even go really well with obviously uh valkyrie arm in the world too they can't get immortality when you use his buff and if you do kill someone with your special effect you're going to deal with extra damage based off your magic type onto all enemies which is going to add up towards being a little bit more damage to him and also as well when he does use this he is going to remove the mercury which is um yeah that's kind of crazy now the reason why i say this guy's kind of paid to a little bit because as you can see when you do get his awake capacity when you do two star dupe him it's going to convert all instances of continuous damage inflicted on self into mercury so basic burn you're going to remove the burn essentially and boom just get all the actual uh, into mercury so you can obviously do your have a bunch of mercury do more damage and also uh have a bunch of like guaranteed poisons guaranteed his arms but when you do get towards five star it does say nullifies the mercury damage so like i said already the mercury does do current hp so every single turn you're going to take damage on yourself but if you have in five star that is no longer a debuff it's now basically a buff so yeah this character looks interesting kind of fun probably almost unplayable very much like obviously a clover academy jack if you don't have him d max dupe he's probably not gonna be that good but yeah boys that is gonna wrap up the video that is the four new characters potentially coming very very soon and basically the next four characters coming towards the game finally dorothy is coming oh some little bit of teases and rumblings that we argue we get some valkyrie arm in the world for the jp anniversary and of course season 11 is gonna bring a party alpha cojono and also uh nozel which um look good i'm not gonna lie they look good so it's uh, nice to finally get a good season that's somewhat interesting because uh, right now, obviously, for Global, we have, uh, we're coming off season five, which is uh, Magna and Charlotte, obviously, a must summon. Next season, I think Yami and Luck that aren't that great. Next in afterwards, I think it's like um, Mimosa and William, not that great either, which is, I guess, kind of fine because now we can just start saving our gems for the Julius rerun and also Mera Leona and. Um, 
you know, Zora, Vanessa, because those are good characters. And hopefully now Dorothy and these other new characters too. And Spirit Dive, you know. It's exciting time, boys. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, peace.